In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate and interpret a company's equity multiplier. So you just take a company's total assets and divide it by its total stockholders' equity. That's the equity multiplier. You would get each of these numbers from a company's balance sheet, which we'll look at in a second. And what this is telling you, this is going to give you a number, and that number is telling you the extent to which the company is financed by shareholders, by equity, instead of by debt. And so the higher this number is, the higher the equity multiplier is, the more that the company is financed by debt rather than equity. So the more leveraged the company is. A high equity multiplier means that most of the assets are being financed by debt and not by shareholders. So let's take a look. We'll calculate the equity multiplier for Netflix. So we've got their balance sheet here. So for as of, we, we've got a comparative balance sheet as of 12-31-2018 and then as of 12-31-2017. But we're just going to focus on 2018. So let's forget about 2017. We've got their total assets, a little over $25 billion because these amounts are in thousands. Okay, so we've got $25 billion here, uh, almost $26 billion. And then we're going to look at their stockholders' equity. So we've got total stockholders' equity, a little over $5 billion. So we're just going to take the total assets and we're going to divide it by total stockholders' equity. And when we do that, we get the number 4.96. Okay, so that's our multiplier. And this is fairly high. So this is telling you that most of uh, Netflix's assets are being financed by debt. Netflix is, uh, they borrowed a lot and they're a pretty highly leveraged company. Now you might find another company that they have a multiplier of six. And that would mean that that company has even more leverage than Netflix. If you found another company that had a multiplier of two, that would mean that they have less leverage than Netflix.